Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm going to work with you guys like this right now. Okay, I hope you guys are having a fantastic Tuesday. It's Taco Tuesday. All right. Let's see what we're looking at. Let's see what we're looking at. Right, the song that's coming to me too is something medicine in my brain, but, but I'm a sucker for you. Something like that. So ironic that the the six of cups would come out, but not really, right? Um, past life energy, soulmate, kid-like energy, could have something going on with your children. To me, it's, um, there might be some projecting going on, but something going on with a friend, partnership, child, for sure. One of the partners are in trouble, difficulty, there's something. I don't really see arguing. That's a card of <clears throat> it's a mental battle. Um... feel like someone doesn't know someone's battling. There's also a situation of like a third party because that's the Hierophant. And that would be, you know, not a good scenario. There's something that someone doesn't know, though, for sure. No question. Something's being kept a secret. It's not... This is not good energy. With a relationship. Too many. The two of wands, okay, it's, I mean, clearly it's a new direction. Some of you are walking the same path that you've walked with this person before in a past life. Clearly the stress. <sighs> it's 
to me, you have to be dealing with a Leo. Others of you, there's this clarity coming. Something good will, will come from this. It's just you don't see it. So it looks like you're walking a path with somebody. And it's okay, so it looks like it's getting gonna get better. Um, some type of aha moment, you know, it's the aha card. You had to have gone through hell. But when this reveals itself, whatever this is, it looks good. So it almost looks like things are going good, but there's there's something not revealed. There's something definitely bothering someone. Um, you know, we got the Nine of Cups and the Palace of Swords. This could be somebody living with somebody. Or, I don't know how. Alright, let me just let me just clarify. Um looks like a household is going to become happier. Tell me about this five of swords. What's this five of swords about? Let's get to the bottom of that that first ace of swords. So seeing the truth in a situation. So that would be getting clarity. Tell me about the sun. I don't know if it's right before the next moon transit, right before the the new moon, which I don't think it's like the 28th. Two of swords, you're gonna have to make a decision about your happiness with the 10 of cups here. Or somebody or a soulmate already made a decision to walk the path. You already got that type of clarity. So you decided to move forward. But there's still something here. Tell me about the moon. The high priestess. Well, with these two cards together, it, you know, that definitely is speaking of secrecy. But in this deck, this is something's already written in the book of destiny. Like is you guys already had a contract to do something to proceed. Um, so it actually looks good. It looks positive. But I, I think for some of you it hasn't been revealed yet. Others of you you've talked about it. Tell me about the hierophant. got the fool and the two of pens. So again, two very spiritual cards. This is being apprehensive though. Very apprehensive to take this journey. Well, you got someone that's like happy-go-lucky, jumps all in, and the other one is, is definitely more cautious. Tell me about the nine of cups. So it looks like looks like you already have clarity on who your happiness is, where your happy lies. It looks like you're going towards, you know, it's the Palace of Swords eventually moving in with each other in, in due time. It could be in two months. Um, what did I just clarify? Ace of Wands with the Nine of Cups. Either or. It's the Page of Cups. It's, it's feelings, daydreaming, fantasizing. It's, it's like knowing that this moment's going to happen. So within the next, what was that, a five, six, seven? Um, six 
15, another seven. Within the next seven months, you guys could be moving in together. Within the next two months, you could be moving in together. Or you're going to be talking about it within the next two months. What direction to kind of go in. Tell me about the two of wands. Because it looks like for a majority, of you, you chose to move forward in a situation. But this, the, the situation is the five of swords. So... I feel like it's like a it's gonna be an uphill battle or there's something. Tell me about the two ones. Two of cups. This is definitely a past life connection. Tell me about the six of cups. You're definitely dealing with a lover. Whoa. Wait, Tony. Knight of Cups came flying out, though. Tell me about the Six of Cups, please. The Emperor. So with the Emperor and the Hierophant being here, there's a good chance there's someone married, but it looks like it's going to come down to one person, one soulmate. It's like they have their clarity. They're following their path. There is a little apprehension, but it's going to be discussed and talked about Um Something, tell me about the moon. I feel like something around the time of the new moon, well, full moon. It's like someone gets left out of the picture. I've got a three of swords right here. I mean, the four, but. There's heartache. There's something's going to be revealed, which is going to leave somebody out. It's almost like the word that just came to me with this card, which I don't normally use. And it's, it's like she's holding an infant or whatever she's holding. It's not even somebody who can, it's like misery loves company, but like, I'm hoping it's a third person that gets cut out for you guys, if that's the case. It's like, you just keep hearing, like, hold it together. So it doesn't, it doesn't look bad. It, it almost is like it's, whatever this is, is not affecting you. And when it, you see what I'm saying? Like, You're not feeling the repercussions of something. Hmm. It looks it looks positive, but my like um overall message overall message. It does really look positive. I don't think this energy is going to hit you for like another week or two. Whatever that's for guarding. But again, it looks it looks positive, guys. Overall message. cups at the bottom of the deck so it's a new cycle with a new soulmate so again it does look positive okay I, th I think where 
where I'm getting caught up is you have the five of swords and the moon, the high priestess. It's like something will be revealed. It's something after the next transit is, is going to shift for you. Okay. Um, I'm thinking the the new moon it's definitely around the time of the full moon I mean the new moon or oh, within the next six days something's going to shift it's this it's a new cycle with a soulmate, which could be a friendship, a lover, okay, um, tell me about the wheel real quick, let me just shuffle these, because at the bottom of the deck is the ten of wands, so you're going to be putting weight down, tell me about the wheel. Just want to make sure you're getting into a good cycle. It looks that way, but with those cards right now, yeah, the world. So something's going to wrap, so something can start. There's, there's a some type of massive transformation going on, okay? Um, so, looks positive, okay? I love you guys. This looks good. Hold on. Tell me about the two of cups. Some some of this happened with the the other full moon, the last full moon. It's yeah, it's a new karmic contract. Um someone doesn't want competition. And you're not getting into a relationship because of that, but it's just a strong bond you guys have. But this is a divine connection, clearly. Divine partnership. I love you guys.